Today, I wanna to tell you something very special. How to catch a fish with a beer bottle. I know, a little bit crazy. <laughs> well, it's not really that crazy. You see, this is, this is more than just telling you how to catch a fish with a beer bottle. This, this video is personal to me. This, this video is a story from my childhood of how I first basically learnt how to catch a fish. But first things first, I've got to find a bee bottle. The story is like this, right? We used to just find rubbish in the bush. See, my, my mother, um, she was quite sick when I was young and so there was this Aboriginal family that took me in and I used to stay at their place all the time and we used to find, go in the bush just like this, messy and crazy like this and we used to try and find a beer bottle to catch a fish with and I can't believe my luck but just here I found the exact beer bottles that we used to use I'm praying that it's not broken oh it's perfect this is either a little uh, VB bottle or a to his new old to his new bottle um, pretty sure it's a it's a VB bottle but these are the exact bottles we used to use to catch fish. You know, really this is a story of using what you have in your surroundings to have fun. This is get a little bit of old fishing line, find it anywhere. Let me show you what we used to do. You see, we'll get our beer bottle and we'll just get our line and we'll just make a hand line. There are so many other better bottles that you could use for this. Even better beer bottles, other better devices to make a hand line. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about using whatever you have to have fun. This video is about nostalgia. This, this video is about you know, how I learned to fish. And, and I, I guess the lesson is, you know, it's just about enjoying yourself. And you don't need the, you know, $100 rod combo to get started when you're fishing. You don't need that. You just need to have a bit of will. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Now, when it would come time to what bait we would use, we would, we would always use beach worms. And uh, they weren't beach worms that we bought from the store, but uh, my, my friend, the family, the Aboriginal family I used to stay with, uh, the grandmother, her name was Arnie Kate. And she used to take us down the beach and she would teach us how to catch worms. Um, she was just a master at it. Uh, I could never pick it up. And I, I, I want to keep learning and learn how to do it. But so, I've got some beach worms, but I didn't catch them myself. I don't know how to do it. And even if I did know how to do it, I don't really have the time. <laughs> but um, I bought some and they're ridiculously expensive. I should learn how to catch beach worms myself, but eight bucks for like two worms, crazy. Bottle, fishing line, little sinker, hook, worm. He's just swinging it around, just like this. And when I let go of it, I point my beer bottle where I want it to go. Just like that. Now all I'm doing here is just holding the line over my finger, waiting for a bite. And when I get a bite, I pull this line back towards me and I grab up here and pull it again. Make sure I set the hook. Oh, yeah, definitely a big bite then. Getting good bites, good bites. Oh. Oh. This is bringing back so many memories. Oh, I've got a fish. Here we go.
You see that? <laughs> is how you catch a fish on a beer bottle. But let's try and get a bigger one, hey? <laughs> Second cast. Cute, little cutie. Let's put him back in the water. Oh, yes. It's a big one. <laughs> Another little guy. He might even be the same fish, you know? <laughs> let's put him back. So I've run out of time, but that is how you catch a fish with a bottle. I know it's only a little fish, but the point is you can use anything you have to have a little bit of fun, to get out, enjoy nature, have a break. But uh, yeah, now I've got to get home to my beautiful wife, my beautiful little baby Florence. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next video. Bye. <laughs>